Good morning. Today I'm walking up into the field with a special project. We uh, got our bees a couple days ago. I had plans of setting a swarm trap because we see honeybees around here constantly and that means there's got to be established colonies in the woods and just probably is a good area for a swarm trap. Never done it before. I was going to build one but the gentleman I bought my nucleus of bees from had a great idea to use the nuke uh, case he gave me and just set it out as a swarm trap. So we're going to try that out. I've never done it before. I have some fresh frames in my hand. Not used frames, so I don't know how successful that's going to be either. But it's worth a try. Hey, I have this stuff sitting around right now. And the chance to get some freebies, I'll take it. Um, I'll show you here in one second what I'm going to do. So what I have here is I have this nuke box that, you know, has made the ship that I'm just going to set my new frames in like this and pop the bottom open. It is a deep and I only have mediums, but, you know, hey, let's see how it works. So here she is loaded up. Like I said, since it's I only have medium frames and this is a deep box, I may end up with a big mess in here if I catch a swarm, but... You know what, it's worth a try. I'm going to open up the bottom here and get it open and go find a perfect spot to set it in. So I'll let you know here in a couple minutes how it works out. Okay guys, I don't know much about uh, catching swarms, especially wild swarms, but uh, here we go. That's my plan right there in a piece of dead wood. You can see... I, I'm tucked in here where no one should no one should see it, no one should bother it. And yet, you know, the the terrain's not so bad when I have to pull this out. If I do catch a swarm, I will be able to get out of here. Um, so I'm just gonna let it be. Like I said, you know, come next week I am gone for five days. So, you know, I'll watch it. Actually, the funny thing is this honeybee just flew by. Um, it, I, I think this is a good spot, you know, there's a big hole in this tree here you know a big it's a basically a big dead knocker and it's wedged in there and it's sort of leaning forward so water shouldn't collect and that is a used nuke box so hopefully uh you know there is a little bit of scent and a little bit of wax left over from the walls and the previous stuff so let's see what happens so I really just wanted to document this moment. Um, you know, who knows if I'll catch anything. I, I really know nothing about catching wild swarms like this and putting out swarm traps. So, yeah, just uh, from what I've seen on uh, TV, I know people put lemon extract and stuff in there. I don't have any, so we're just going to see what happens. I said, you know, like I said, I put in some frames, and we'll just watch it for bee activity. You know, I'll leave it alone here for, you know, I might check it next Tuesday. It's... Wednesday today. I might check it next Tuesday, see if there's any activity, and uh, then at that point make a decision if I'm going to leave it through my vacation. It, it's very hidden, so no one should bother it. No one should even see it uh, here. So it's on our property. I mean, so it doesn't really matter that either, but uh, you just don't want anyone, you know, bothering it. So um, there we are. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you'd like to see, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, and We'll uh, someday hopefully be a farmer.